Formula One finds itself on shaky ground as a double resignation strikes the upper echelons of the sport. The sudden departures of F1 race director Niels Wittek and Greg Maffey, CEO of Formula One's parent company Liberty Media, have rocked the paddock and left fans and stakeholders alike questioning the future direction of the sport. These exits hint at underlying tensions both within the FIA and Liberty Media, raising significant questions for F1's governance and future competition structure. When the FIA announced Wittek's resignation, it credited the veteran German official for his service, yet the phrasing, that he was leaving to pursue other interests, quickly rang hollow. Within hours, Wittek himself reportedly informed Motorsport magazine that he was not stepping down voluntarily, and that he was in fact dismissed by the FIA. The timing of Wittek's removal has raised eyebrows, especially as it comes just before the highly anticipated Las Vegas Grand Prix. With only three races remaining in the 2024 season, Wittek's replacement, Rue Marquez, has minimal time to acclimatize to F1's intense environment. Marquez, promoted from overseeing the FIA's Formula 2 and Formula 3 series, now faces the formidable task of ensuring operational continuity, especially in Las Vegas, which featured 99 overtakes in 2023, the most in any F1 race since 2016. Wittek's tenure as F1 race director has been punctuated by both progress and controversy. After Michael Massey's turbulent exit in 2022, Wittek stepped in during a period when race officiating had become a focal point of public debate. Despite successfully handling several high-stakes situations, Wittek's decisions at recent races, including a delay in issuing a red flag during qualifying and a virtual safety car during the most recent race in Brazil, drew heavy criticism.